And so emotional um, um, conflict, the passion, the heat, the drive is getting to her and to them. I think she's um, I think she's starting to stem out of control here. And then we have the king of swords. So it looks like um, the, the divine, excuse me, the karmic partner. It's almost like a game of cat and mouse. OK, it's almost like you know, the card, the card game bullshit. So I'm going to call her bullshit. I'm going to call her bluff. But then again, it's not hard to see what love looks like. It's not hard to see that, you know, someone doesn't love you the same or someone's showing what you've always wanted towards another person. It's not hard to see. Again, he's not trying to play coy. You know, this is what's kind of going on. He's not pretending to, to be somewhere that he's not, you know, he's, he's, like that's what I was trying to explain in the other video. Like the justice, the scales are going to be balanced here. It's like um, he, I don't know if he was being naive, but the spirit was saying, no, he's not being naive. He's just being honest. Okay, they came up with both the king and queen of swords. So there's just an honesty there, no matter what what's kind of going on or what's being said or what's not being said. It's just kind of blatant, blatantly clear about how he feels about her and, and why, why he's feeling that way and, and, and because of who. So the scales are going to be balanced here, all right? Um, whew. So there's, there's kind of like a really dark presence here. Look, with the Queen of Cups. So, okay, so it's safe to say she knows about you, and it's, and it's not that she knows about you. She knows about his feelings for you, Divine Feminine, and that is, is really troubling her. There's fights. There's arguments there. There's, there's a lot being thrown and it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of knowledge as far as how the emotions go, but the way that they're portraying their emotions isn't, is almost like it's in a way of like, um, snake eye, catfish, uh, fish and cat, cat and mouse. It's almost like, um, it's almost like, okay, I know you feel that. Okay. So there's emotions here. It's subliminals. It's like, um. You know, they know that they're fighting because of something, because of because of the love that they have for someone else. But it looks like they're going to fight about other things. They're going to fight and manipulate. Um, OK, that's why we keep seeing that King of Wands there for the karmic partner. And it came up in her spread as well. Go watch those videos because that's what she's doing. She's manipulating him. She's she knows that the feelings. OK, and here we have the, the right of weight is in this thing over here. And it's the same card. The five of wands. So this is a major thing that's happening with them right now is that, um, well, so it seems that she's, she's playing the snake eye thing and then really is coming for another. It's her whack attack. Okay. It's her coming in with these harsh words because she knows what's going on. It's emotionally distraught and got her, but she's pretending to be emotionally balanced as a king of cups. You see how she's manipulating him into believing that, you know, she's not hurt about that. She's trying to belittle the feelings he has for the divine feminine, okay, and say, look, I've got that love. And not only that, in doing so by arguing with him, okay, it's really hard to explain. There's a lot of manipulation going on here, um, narcissism. And she's coming in with real, real weapons and real tools, real words to say, coming for him at a very vulnerable spot because she knows that he's vulnerable in his emotions for the divine feminine, right? And his love for her. And he, and she's like trying to fight about one thing to try to, um, uh, steer him away from from the fact okay I hope that makes sense it's a lot of manipulation going on here and that's why she keeps coming up as the king of wands let's clarify this knight of swords okay and it's um, it's more so in reverse okay this seven of pentacles in reverse this came up for the divine feminine so the divine feminine are being, are definitely, I don't know, some of you are being manipulated by the karmic. It depends on how close your ties are to this person. If you're keeping dabs and dibs on her, you're definitely falling into a trap. Okay, you're, you're definitely falling to, into a manipulative trap here. Okay, the closer you are, here we go with the magician Gemini. Okay, the closer you are to this couple, etc., the more you are to be persuaded. So the divine feminines are supposed to become a queen of pentacles right now, whereas the divine masculine is becoming a king of pentacles, learning how to do it on your own. But upright, we know that this is like questioning where you are today and understanding that if someone doesn't have any more meaning to you or doesn't serve you anymore, to go and take your fruit of the loom and what you've worked so hard on for so many years or so long and go and kind of, you you know, now um, offer your uh, talents or such elsewhere, 
okay? So this is getting ready to do so, but it's in reverse. So there's a lot of mental conflict here as far as the, the, um, the, the karmic partner goes and what to do next. She knows that it's not this aspect that's going to help. Now she has to kind of dive in, delve, de um, dive into this um, kind of a shape shift into this emotion thing here in order to play right in order to in order to win okay she's like on guard but she has to be equipped and so the magician here is also talking about her now not talking about the divine feminine but her as far as her trying to get equipped and make things her own manifest her own power okay this temptation card is how she's falling into temptation in this sort of aspect as far as like look um you know i can't lose here i can't lose you know with this uh she could be very well a fire sign who's got this fire energy okay seven of wands you know com competition you know and it's almost like you know it's almost like you don't have to play that way it's like she's not playing fair never has she played fair uh, played fair but especially now okay so she's trying to pull out some you know magic tricks and she's trying to you know be manipulated and manipulate others into doing what she needs to do it's a really it's a real game of cat and mouse here i love how we've got this representation of the five of wands and also this one that's just sitting over here not been touched Okay, so she's trying to um, persuade him, brainwash him, is what I was saying in my previous reading about the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine versus Mother-in-Law. Go watch that. Let's clarify this King of Cups for this karmic partner. So we got two cards, and they're in reverse, and I knew they would be. We've got the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in reverse, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. These are two energies of the Divine Feminine and then of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, okay? If you watch previous readings, you know this much, and the King of Cups is, is the truth behind it, Divine Feminines and everyone watching, that she doesn't have this aspect. She's trying to shape shift into, into um, I think of Harry Potter with the Poly Potion juice. You know, she's trying to shape shift into it because this is the only way now that she's going to be able to communicate with him in a way of which he's feeling to go move forward towards someone else if you embody that emotion it may be that okay now we you know now we're playing with something now we're playing you know now it's even now it's equal if that makes sense okay but the pages in reverse they're not on the same page as far as love we know that this card is only open and only available to the divine masculine and the divine feminine as reiterated okay and stamped in previous readings to this one but it seems that they don't have the the same page as far they're not on the same page they're not in the same page as far as how they're going to stand alone how they're going to get independence how they're going to how they're going to be sufficient self-sufficient on their own as this is a positive aspect they're not on the same same page as far as that and I love that I love that you know you know the king of pentacles here but I love that it's basically talking about an aspect of you know romance and security love and and material aspects they're not on the same page as far as and so she wants to shape shift into this king of cups there's no room to be a queen because that's where the divine feminine is she can't do that because in his spread in the previous reading and she came up again in the shuffle you know the divine feminine does that for him and where he can stand alone where in a, a situation where he's not allowed to stand alone but not only that he is already envisioning his divine feminine as the queen of cups he's not embodying that energy here she is embodying it so she can be able to speak volume to the divine masculine and not let not allow him to escape okay five of wands here for the karmic partner all righty so first we have the hierophant here for the five of wands just um one second and okay so here we have Okay, without letting the camera completely so now we have the seven of wands here in reverse okay so she's losing okay she's losing because it's the hierophant you're not going to be able to manipulate him you're not going to be able to do any of that what's supposed to happen is going to happen in a divine journey and being a karmic being a karmic you know the the, the completion is going to come to it to its end and, and regardless so you know anything that you do is going to kind of lead towards the fate of you know the um the divine mass and divine feminine winning in their favor okay but these emotional arguments and trying to sway him and trying to manipulate him is saying that it's not going to work because he is the divine mass and he is the higher font so he is all knowing but it is still depending on what he is going to do and how he is going to win the race it's still up to 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 freedom or to his choice okay but it's saying divine feminines do not worry you know because he's he's already aware of the lies and deceit the heartbreak he's already a very aware of that with this swords and gemini Libra 
Libra Aquarius. He's aware of the heartbreak and the lies that this woman is feeding him here. Okay, and what she's trying to do. He's being awakened. But it looks like, um, so Divine Feminines, do not be scared. You know, don't be worried if the, you know, the karmic partner is telling them that he's worthless or, you know, you know, that's why, you know, He's not living with his mom or anything that's trying to hit below the belt. Do not, do not fear. She is moving in, you know, very naive ways. That's why this keeps coming out. Okay. And she's reverting to her old ways. This money aspect isn't shining right now. And if that, and if she leaves this, if she abandons this tool of hers, that's been keeping him thus far, it's not shape shifting into love is where you're going to go wrong. Karmic. Okay. Then you better hold on tight to this aspect. And they're both in the reverse and she's moving very, very naive now because she's moving on a, on a pretense or in a in an aspect why it came up in her reading prior to this one as well why it came up in an aspect of which you know she's not going to win because this is not her 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 era of expertise shall we say let's clarify the king of swords for the karmic partner the king of swords tell us about the king of swords for the karmic so we got the two of wands. This came up for her also. This is the two of wands. And I love this representation of the card rather than the other one. They have it twice in this deck. And we got again the, the chariot. So here she is. Um, let's see here. Okay. So here she is. We got the knight of cups. So that would be her back there. All right. And, um, okay, let me just see. I wanted to, okay, the King of Pentacles. So he's, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, he's turning, he's becoming this king, this king of Pentacles. And the Divine Feminine is becoming the Queen of Pentacles. That's why I love how it was in reverse for her. If you go look at the previous readings. But, um, so this is talk, this is Aries Leo Sagittarius. And this is someone who's starting from scratch, maybe. Um, but it could be someone who, you know, who's in a relationship or who's in a foundation, in a commitment somewhere. You know, you're a child, you're bound to your home, okay? Someone who's home so that's an establishment right and it's like you know what what can I do next the ball is in my court what can I say next what are my next moves okay with this Gemini Libra Aquarius card so it's a lot of it's a lot of um it's a lot of preparation the two of wands is a planning stage of what to say next what are you gonna do next okay let's see what's coming up next with this what is she gonna do next what is she gonna say next so we got the Ace of Pentacles. So here's here's a newfound idea. So she doesn't know yet. Here's a new sense of security. Here's a new sense of foundation. New money. New, 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 new. So here's she's basically drawing up a blank, and um, but she knows she's going to be here and in a manipulative stage and masculine energy for sure. Okay, is why divine feminines, I say when you're in your divine masculine energy, when you're in your masculine energy, just kind of be cautious of how long you stay there. Just grab it and go. Okay, the world card of completion here. So if she's falling through these ruts, if she's listening to her divine here, which is look like she is, she is not going to prevail. She is not going to, to, to win here. Okay, this king of swords manipulates others into working for them. But, you know, there is an often um, success, okay, because this guy gets success. He, he rules others and he enlists people to help him with whatever that he needs. And it works and it happens and it, and it comes true. They don't ask questions because he is liable. He has a great track record of getting what he wants, okay? And those around him also succeed and at least his plans, okay? So let's see in another reading how this Ace of Pentacles unfolds and what she she decides to do because I'm assuming before this unfolds he goes to the divine feminine if you watch the previous reading to this one prior you know prior to this one you'll see that yes it does look like he's coming back for only very 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 few of you he may be getting a divorce right now but a lot of them are just needing to balance the scales and understand the love that you two have for one any one another finally looking at each, in each other's eyes this next meet and understanding exactly that page of cups that lies between you two all right so so the karmic partner, it's safe to know, it's safe to say that she knows enough to know that he's going to, to you to make a new, to make a new, you know, conjunction rather. Okay. So she knows that much. It's not talking about how much she's going to dive into what, you know, what she knows. It talks about her wanting a wish fulfillment and staying with the divine masculine and kind of cutting out you. Um, it seems her wish for feminine is to become this uh, queen of cups, at least for him. And I don't know if it's going to happen, but she does know that there is a queen of cups in the way. And it's just up to her to kind of try, 
and, and, and mark her territory, okay? Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye.